Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. In the last part, we uh, did the Golden Vault. Lots and lots of parts of it. So, all that's left is Act 6. Does that add up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 6. So, we're still missing 5. But we can spend 100 pawns and start up 6. Ah. Uh, I am not liking it just from the picture here. It looks like it's going to be a uh, difficult stage. Um, we now have a lava spout, I guess, because it was a water spout before. Look at mess. This is terrible. Someone turn on all faucets in Mafia Town. Same faucets that control the town volcano. Was it you, child? No? Mafia think he saw a little girl turn on all faucets. Alright, so Mustache Girl turned on all the faucets to Mafia town if you burn on. Mafia Town. Uh, sure, we're going to start with sprinting because that seems like the best thing to do in this situation is to sprint really quickly. I like how they're pointing you in the direction of it now, and like every single mafia is is helping, I guess, in this respect to, to show you where everything is. This is gonna hurt. Oh, but it almost hurt in such a way that it would be useful. Nope. I don't think we're gonna balance by. All right. Slight issue. Um, if we fall in the lava, we're gonna be basically dead. That's something I'm gonna have to keep in mind. No, I don't. Alright, so for any future ones, we're just going to cut to our successful attempt because... Oh no. I'm already not liking this. And I keep forgetting the dive is something we can do. Let's hop on here. Uh, is it... It's not whack with Umbrella, it doesn't look like. Or does it seem to be just jump on it? So it's, I guess I gotta land in front of it and whack it with the umbrella, which seems kind of um, excessive. There, lava has been turned off, and oh, so each one of those is a checkpoint. All right, that that makes me feel a little better about this map because it means as we go, we're not gonna be repeating the cutscene unless we fail on the first one again. So. We're after every single one. There looks like there's a lot of heart ponds to spend out. Even some waterfalls to give us some assistance to get back. Oops. However, I don't know that we can get to that one. So oh, there's how you do it. Alright. Dive. Hopefully, hit that balloon and be fine. I like how there's a Mafia just chilling in the lava. He does not look too happy about it, but he's just kinda chilling there. I'm a little sad you can't hit it from on top. Uh, none of my attacks have seemed to work. So three hits and checkpoint. Unfortunately, we're not getting back too, too easily. Or I'm full of it, and we got back to at least where we started pretty quick. Three, four... <laughs> Poor guy, all things considered. Oh, I was going to say, are these still open? Because I want to see what happens if he tries to launch me through that. But I guess not. got another one really far out of the way, but that does seem to be our next target anyways, so. We'll go after this one because it looks like the closest. Oh, uh, maybe we should have trusted him with uh, the bouncy lump. Okay, so we, we do have one thing we can stand on in the form of giant meat. This is good practice for platforming. 
What? To say, is that one not solid? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Oh, well, rip. Another gruesome, gruesome lava death to apparently Mustache Girl. I think that was what the face that spun around was. Oh, and it respawns me up here each time, which might not be the best, but it at least means that we'll be central and we won't be stuck um, wherever we started. Thank you, Mafia, for showing me the, the way to turn off the uh, lava spout. I think actually our best way is going to be through using that hook. Just gotta tilt ourselves the right way. Um, I don't think that's how lava works. Just tried to run up the side of it. Heart ponds. Okay, I, I really wanted to know that one too. You can you'll find a lot of deaths in the game. It's just what happens if I do this? So we're gonna head up here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any lava ones up there. So really the first one we're after is this guy over here. Oh, come on. So close, so close. And we're dead. Because I don't think we can get back up to where we need to from here. Oh. Oh, the bridge is also lava. Interesting. Interesting that the wood bridge is lava. Fine. Alright. Or? No, I guess not. I guess not. Oh, the Mafia are invincible right now. Interesting. I guess that's their trade off. They're invincible, but their town is kind of being destroyed. Then again, I guess it makes sense to not be able to hurt the Mafia on the one that you're supposed to be helping the Mafia. Oh, oh. Perfect. And one more, and another checkpoint, finally. Ooh. What was this? That Relic Finder badge did not really help much. Then again, that isn't a Relic, so I, I gotta give that point to it. I think we're like at the halfway point for turning off these bomb falls. See, it would make more sense if the boat was actually floating right now. Because I mean, I, I think the boat seems sturdy enough it could float on lava. Alright. Looks like our next one is directly in front of us, just on the opposite side of the island. Ooh, something way up there. What is it? What is at the top of this lake? I turned the wrong way. Okay, go this way. Because yes, I know it's not one of the faucets, but it's shiny, so I have to check it. Um, is there a way we can just kind of climb up this thing? Because I don't think my jump ability is going to work for this. I see no hooks that I can use. Let me see if I can get a better look on this side. 
Alright, it's something I also have to get in a non explosive zombie now, which I guess makes sense. Even sprinting, we can't go against this too much. But it looks like we only have the two fires left. Yeah, two fire spouts, one of which is over here. Oh, it does not look like it wants to. I'm gonna not use this platform, it seems like a bad plan to me. Oh, this one, we died on it once already. Let's see. I'm amazed that this thing can actually survive this tree right next to the lava. But, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I need... Not, yeah, none of these are gonna help with this junk. Alright. That took considerable more focus than I expected it to. Rift token. Decent amount of pawns. I think we've made back the 100 we had to spend for this level. And... Um, well, this stage has reformed. I guess we could just die now to respawn back at the... what's his names? Uh, the Science Mafia? I don't know. The, sus the Superstitious Mafia guy or whatever? So the only fire we have left is, well, directly south of here. Well, I guess down from here, but still. Okay, they're most of the way. Did I leave, like, a really easy one for last? I apparently did. Not too worried about this guy at all. Are you kidding me? Oh! We got it! At our death, it looks like. So, we got the checkpoint and we died, but I think that opens up the cannon to actually let us escape. And puts us through the cutscene again. Yeah, that's the last one we gotta get from the, the Mafia Town, it looks like. Which is good because that means we can launch ourselves back up to the top. And apparently, already they have got um, statues in our honor and all that sort of thing. Also, a invisible wall here because you're not supposed to jump over this thing. I'll take it. I will take it. So we can open up and get ourselves. You did it! Small child saved We have Mafia saved now. Mafia now. Now Mafia no longer need to eat lava for breakfast. Amaze, please! Take this as... We are the true hero of Mafia Town, and they no longer need to eat lava for breakfast. Okay. So, we destroyed their leader, and now we beat Mafia Town, I guess somehow. However, that is our 14th timepiece, meaning in the next part we can unlock the next area. Because I think, yeah, we've done everything we can here. Oh, except for one more. There is one more part to this Mafia talent we haven't got. I was kind of hinting at it a bit. Uh, but we won't be able to beat this one for a while either, so we're not going to worry about that. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.